So welcome again to uh, this video about my sketchbooks and the work I have uh, in them. Uh, as you may have noticed in the Instagram account, uh, I had to eliminate the video because it violated the privacy of uh, certain people. So I won't, uh, I won't show, uh, I won't show certain uh, drawings and paintings. Instead, I will focus entirely on what I can uh, actually show, <laughs> because it, it doesn't invade anybody's privacy. So, um, uh, this is Neuschwanstein. This is uh, a castle in southern um, in southern Germany. I actually I actually kept the ticket which I have just here. Neuschwanstein. Uh, I went there uh, with a friend of mine, which I painted actually in this uh, in the smallest sketchbook uh, here. This is my friend Jenny uh, from Germany. I made this drawing in München, and uh, it, it was a very quick sketch, but uh, she liked it very much, or so she told me, anyways. Uh, so this was the first uh, drawing I was going to make. Uh, I wanted to make this watercolor, but I couldn't. Uh, so uh, it's just a very quick sketch with a uh, soluble pen, a uh, watercolor soluble pen. This is in the Deutsches Museum, which I also happen to have here the tickets um, for it. I, in this, this, notebook, this notebook, the small one, is very weird um, because I keep all sorts of stuff. And uh, in this case, I have. I think I must here here. This is the Deutsches Museum. This is actually the part where they draw this. Um, they have in the Deutsches Museum. They have such a wonderful um, things. Um, they have this huge machine which was uh, made to extract cold, and this is a kind of um, a better rendering of this uh, of this piece here. This here is. Uh, this I just wanted to understand exactly because it, uh, I mean my eyes are not very good so I actually kind of do these things to understand better what I'm sorry uh, this is also in the Deutsches uh, Museum this is actually a boat that is right inside the, the Deutsches Museum and it is an amazing boat although the painting is not amazing really because um, I mean this paper uh, it's not actually meant for watercolor. They told me it was, but uh, once I bought it, uh, uh, I understood it was not. Is uh, the, this uh, this paper is not that thick? Uh, the water doesn't get in properly, so I really couldn't make uh, a good rendering of uh, of what I of what I saw there. Although the boat uh, in shape is similar. I think this is the last painting of the Deutsches Museum, but um, I have more here. Um, this uh, this was also taken in the Deutsches Museum. Um, this is an instrument, uh, uh, astronomical instrument from the Middle Ages. I just took some notes. I used to use sketchbook just to take notes of things, um, as I did here. These are notes I think on the on the Neuschwanstein uh, castle. Uh, actually, I saw here uh, yeah, some of the names uh, that, that appear a lot on the Neuschwanstein castle, especially uh, Wagner, Walter von der Vogelweide, uh, uh, Perceval, and uh, you know, notes about uh, oh yeah, the a strong Byzantine -like, uh, um, likeness of the um, interior architecture in the castle, which was very interesting, by the way. Uh, this is actually right in uh, right the view from the Neuschweinstein castle. This is uh, Maries Brucke, I think. I don't remember correctly. Uh, this paper is not also ready for a watercolor, but here I think it, it is a bit a little bit thicker. This is um, yeah 160 grams, and this is 140. Uh, so this is a little bit thicker. And you can see that the water is much better here, preserved, and the drawing in general is much better than this watercolor. Uh, I like a lot this drawing, uh, the Marais Brucke. 
uh, I like it a lot and yeah this is just all for tickets and this was drawn the same very day I didn't learn from my mistake uh, because this is an, again another try into using watercolor in this sketchbook which is obviously not ready for watercolor uh, this is actually the um, um, Bavarian Parliament House, I think, or something like this. Um, I really have no idea. And uh, this is in Prague. Uh, this is the the entering in the Charles V um, bridge, and this is at one side of the bridge, and this is right at the other side of the bridge. And this is perhaps one of my best drawings ever. I'm very proud of this drawing. I think it's one of my best, if not, if not my best drawing, at least in architecture uh, terms. Because it, 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 I mean, it's not only that the, that the real uh, building looks just like this, it's that um, actually it is a good drawing on, on its own. It's a good drawing. Uh, everything, the, de the level of detail achieved uh, is quite good. I would say is with these one of the one of my best drawings ever. And uh, this too uh, I mean this is also this is ink and a little bit of watercolor just yes, to get some of the greens because this, this is one of these bronze statues um, so you know it's this uh, you ha you have this greenish color and that I applied with a very very nice layer of, uh, of watercolor. I'm very attached uh, to this drawing in particular because it was interrupted here you can see the time uh, it was interrupted uh, because I happened to uh, to receive a call from my ex-girlfriend and we discussed a lot of uh, a lot of things there and it was a very emotional uh, phone call and so I'm attached um, emotionally to this drawing because I mean I see it and it reminds me of um, of what happened there in that phone call and um, I forgot that uh, there is something uh, before this drawing and um, this is also from the Deutsches Museum uh, this is from the small sketchbook and uh, machinery as you can see I like machinery a lot uh, and I mean, you cannot see clearly the machinery. I mean, you can you can see some parts uh, more or less good rendered, but uh, yeah, not a great drawing. It's I mean, it's promising. It could be really good if perhaps I could remade it uh, or change it somehow. It could be good, but it is not yet. At least it is a good sketch, anyways. Maybe going back, I'm going to put something here. Um, So uh, this is Prague, and this is also Prague. Uh, this is two sketches. Um, this one in particular is kind of good, kind of. Uh, it's made with a very, very, very um, soft um, pencil, and but both those are sketches uh, basically. These uh, these are related. I met this girl here, which I will show you. Uh, this girl is called. Desi and uh, I met her in Prague just by chance. I actually was drawing Prague and I will show you the drawing right now. Uh, the drawing I was making, uh, a painting actually, uh, in, this, in this sketchbook. And I was making exactly this, uh, this view of Prague. This is the bridge and if you take um, this drawing, this building is right here and uh, this statue is right at the opposite side so i was making this drawing when a girl from germany came to me um, Desi, and we met each other and we start talking and so on and the next very day i made this portrait and uh, not the, not the not the very next day i think it was the the, the next one and she made, I gave her, because she wanted to paint, so I gave her, I gave her this, um, this notebook and she made this drawing. So, I 
like we were drawing the same actually. Um, I will. So yeah, because I made this, I made this. She made this. She made this one, and um, I I gave her the paper. I took this one, and we were actually painting the same, just for had to to be able to understand perspective so it was a, uh, this drawing was meant to as, as a kind of a lesson so she could understand perspective and she got it uh, she got it uh, hopefully at least uh, and hopefully she may have keep on practicing so that's the lovely Desi I met in Prague and uh, right after Prague I went to Poland I went to Brodsław, Breslau, and I made this drawing. This is a, a faculty, this is the University of Brodsław, this is the Faculty of Architecture, and I think it's a very good rendering from the park that is right uh, in front of the building. Uh, it is a very lovely building um, from the beginning of the uh, 20th century, and I mean it's not super good, but it is good, I think. So going on with the sketchbook, uh, this is the friend I went to visit in Prague, uh, her name is Kasia, um, very lovely, very beautiful, and I, uh, she took me uh, to many places in Brodsław, uh, one of them is uh, the National Museum of Brodsław, um, where I took these two paintings, uh, I took these two, um, and uh, I like this. Uh, I like this one in particular a lot. Uh, this is, I don't know if you can read it, Max Vislezenus, uh, Vis or something like that. I, most likely, I won't be pronounced this correctly. Uh, most likely, I didn't even properly write the name correctly. I don't know really. Uh, these two were made the fourth uh, May fourth of two thousand nineteen, and this one in particular, I think it's very good. I think, I mean, don't mind me, anyway. Uh, this is also from um, from Rotswap. Uh, I love handwriting. Uh, I hope you notice how much I love handwriting. Uh, I spend a lot of time analyzing handwriting. Uh, I think it's a wonderful, lovely exercise. And I actually, in the museum, this is in the museum of um, Adam Mickiewicz, uh, which is one of the greatest literary authors of Poland, uh, one of many, and uh, he wrote the book called Pan Tadeusz, which is written. This is this is the first draft. This is a, the the pure manuscript out of the very hands of Adam Mis uh, Mickiewicz. And uh, as you can see here, I try to reproduce the handwriting. Um, I will lower the camera a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, this this is me trying to reproduce the handwriting because for me it's uh, it's very interesting it's very interesting and uh, this was also in the museum this uh, this were some ha some you know military stuff uh, I I think this is yeah this is not from the uh, Adam Mickiewicz museum this is from the uh, National Museum of Brodsław and yeah, just a gun and a hem um, helmet. Not very good, the, the gun probably a little bit better, but the helmet, not very good. Usually when I'm with other people, in this case, my friend Kasia took me to the museum. Uh, I don't have much time, so I just do quick sketches and that's all, because I don't, I, I don't want to spend a whole day, you know, the other person is waiting for you, so you don't want to. Uh, before we move on to the next, I will, I, I want to show this. Uh, this is the, University of Brodsław. Um, I like this uh, watercolor very much. Like um, like the previous, is the same um, kind of watercolor. You know, it's just it's a complete view. Uh, this one perhaps is more bold because of the water and because of the landscape, the sky, and the amount of information uh, it's on it. But this one is uh, the rendering is better. Uh, it's more precise. Um, the yeah, if you take a look at the building of the university, it's actually cool and it has a lot of detail, uh, which I like a lot. The other part is also good, but not much, you know, it's just, you know, the, 
it's yes the background but the foreground uh, like the the building of the university is quite well achieved uh, in this sense uh, much like this one this one I, I forgot to show uh, this is from Prague too uh, also very nice and and then we must move on to the next part because this was all a journey. Uh, I started, I went to, from Seville to Madrid, from Madrid to, um, to München, from München to Regensburg, from Regensburg to, uh, to Prague, from Prague to Wrocław. In Wrocław I took a plane and I went to um, the Netherlands and I spent a, a couple of nights in Utrecht where I made these two drawings. Um, yes, okay. Uh, these two were made in the cathedral, I think. Uh, the, okay, I don't know Dutch, so I won't be saying anything. Anyways, um, the cathedral I gather, or something like it. Um, this is right in the center of the, of the building. It's a very, very lovely detailed complex uh, piece of work not the drawing I mean the real thing my drawing is a sketch it took around 40 minutes and it's not very good but I like in particular this area here uh, because uh, the night which is laying uh, the night actually you can see is uh, Wilhelm Joseph uh, Wilhelm Joseph van Ghent and uh, Vice Admiral Baron Willem Joseph van Gant, uh, Gent or whatever, uh, in Utrecht, May 9th, 2019. And as I told you, this is the part I like the most. Uh, the way I sketch the, the grave of the guy, the sculpture that lays right uh, in the grave. And uh, after I made this sketch, I made this showing. This is like the best part of the drawing. Um, it took me an hour to do this, and actually, the guy who was making the, uh, who, who was working there, uh, kind of protecting the building and so on, uh, complained that I dropped some water on uh, inside uh, the building as I was making this. So we move on, and this is oh, this is uh, this is actually not this does not belong to the to this part of the journey. Uh, this is later on. But this, uh, this does. After Utrecht, I went to visit this friend of mine, Bulut, uh, with uh, a Turkish friend of mine, and I made this. I made this portrait, uh, which is not very good. It's not good. Uh, the rendering is okay. Uh, I think it captures very well uh, the posture and you know the the attitude of the person in the moment. But it's not a good rendering of the person. Like the features are not well achieved it's just okay -ish. and before we move on I want to show you a couple of drawings that also belong to this um, uh, to, to this because I took this uh, these drawings um, <laughs> 10th uh, May 10th 2019 and I like them. I mean, they are not very complex. Uh, they are not especially challenging. I mean, they, uh, on the contrary, I mean, they are not very complex. They are very easy drawings. They are just very quickly made, almost in no time. But uh, they were immensely challenging. Like this bird, for example, which I don't know what's the name in English. Um, this is, uh, in Spanish, is Garza Real. And it came, I was walking around uh, around um, some land, uh, I don't know exactly where, it's a kind of forest uh, near Lelystad, and this bird came flying uh, uh, and stopped by some tree and stood there for a while. And I just happened to be there, and very, very silently, I just took the pencil, took the notebook, and I made this quick sketch, and in less than five minutes the, the the bird was flying again so I could not finish anything uh, there are some detail in the color this brownish uh, grayish color and in this case I did have more time uh, to finish the the drawing uh, those actually as the same bird 
just it was moving constantly so none of the posture uh, is actually very good but still good enough and I managed to do this uh, these are a continuation of the same topic uh, I was just walking around and after uh, after me after meeting these animals uh, I kept on I kept on going I kept on going and I made um, these uh, ducks I think um, and I, they were moving all the time, obviously, but I still could, I managed still to make a good rendering uh, of them. And the same very day, uh, I just kept on going, and I happened to meet yet more animals. This is also uh, in the same forest uh, near Lelystad. And after this, I went to Aachen. Which is very, very near, um, very, very near uh, Maastricht and Utrecht, and so I went. Uh, I went north. I mean, I went from Brodsdorf to Utrecht, Utrecht, uh, Amsterdam, and Lelystad. And Lelystad, I went to uh, Utrecht and uh, sorry, to Utrecht to to Aachen. This is the dome. This is not finished. Uh, actually, uh, this is just a very rough sketch. I was uh, with a friend of mine, which I happened to meet there in Aachen. Uh, this is her. This is Regina, and uh, she's a very lovely woman. And we were having ice cream, if I remember uh, correctly. No, I don't know really. I don't remember. I don't know if we were having ice cream or beer. Anyways, this is uh, this is the dom. This is. Um, this is from the museum right in front of the dome. Uh, uh, you can have it here, the Center Charlemagne. I went there uh, May 14th, uh, 14th uh, 2019 and I took some notes on the things I found in the museum. Uh, this is also part of, uh, of, of what I found in the, uh, in the museum. Um, this is basically again um, some notes concerning uh, calligraphy. This is Carolingian uh, handwriting, and I happen to like a lot this type of handwriting because I don't know it seems to be very elegant and very soft and nice, uh, as opposite to, for example, Gothic uh, handwriting uh, or Gothic lettering, which is kind of violent or something, I don't know, uh, just uh, Gothic is a very strong handwriting, but it's kind of menacing. Uh, this is again uh, more notes concerning the handwriting, I will try to... Okay. This is what actually, this is a page of the manuscript I found, it is an amazing, wonderful, beautiful manuscript. And they have like the first couple of pages, uh, the book is open so you can read it. And uh, I just I, I just make uh, notes concerning the type, different types of handwriting. And I would state here uh, what handwriting it was. And then I made, uh, this is a more detailed, uh, a more detailed note about the handwriting. You can see here that they use um, Roman capitals, then they use um, uncials, and then they use the uh, Carolingian handwriting. And it is very, very nice. Uh, it is a very nice museum, the, uh, this uh, center of Charlemagne, and in general, uh, Aachen is a very nice place. Uh, these are some extra notes concerning again the handwriting. Uh, one second. Yeah. These are these are again some notes concerning things that I saw. They have the history of the city, and uh, this is again handwriting. And again, uh, this is as I showed you before. This is my friend Regina. Um, this painting, which is very nice, uh, was actually this is a lamp, and it was this drawing was taken um, with uh, Regina. I think she was also drawing, and uh, so we made different um, different drawings, and I made this because I liked a lot the the yellow and greenish 
colors of the, of the thing. This is again uh, because here I keep on no, this not. Um, let's go to the dome one second uh, because I made I made some notes concerning the the dome. I want to show you here. Uh, this is one of my. I like a lot uh, what I made here. Uh, this is. I mean, this is the center of the building, and the center of the building uh, is uh, is just like this. Uh, as seen from um, from above, I obviously didn't uh, was I wasn't watching the building like this. I was inside. I just took and analyzed the architecture uh, because it was outstandingly beautiful. I mean, Aachen is one of the best places you can go to uh, in terms of enjoying architecture um, because the whole city is very nice. It's a very small town, uh, lovely countryside, and so on. Uh, but the dome inside is an amazing, outstanding piece of architecture. And this is the inside. So this is this would be the view of one of these walls. This here. And as you can see, the architecture resembles uh, resembles perfectly. Uh, I mean, it's kind of Byzantino. It's it's. Byzantine and um, Arabic is kind of it's a very nice mixture and it's all made this is uh, white uh, black and white and it's just an amazing piece of architecture if you are curious to see something and this is what was written in the building uh, here this is uh, the Latin inscriptions were made here and I took so this is the text that is written all around here and I don't know, it's just um, great. It was an amazing experience to go there and to see the and to see the, the actual the actual building. So we are going to move on a little bit.